Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I got some exciting news for the next jailbreak for 10.2 for the iPhone 7 and a couple more news that's what's been going on in the jailbreak world. So with that being said guys, let's get straight into this video. Alright, so jumping first off into the subreddit, there's been a lot of tweaks that are upcoming and a lot of releases that have been updated for the 10.2 jailbreak. So that's very awesome for the devs to actually update their tweaks in order to be compatible with the latest jailbreak. So thank you guys so much. But uh, first off, I want to let you guys know that Luca Tedesco has confirmed that his jailbreak for 10.2 will now be confirmed with the iPhone 7 and will work but he will just need to update that in a future release but he does got some stuff to do like he says in this tweet right here but at least we know that he will be updating it for the iPhone 7 so guys please stay tuned for that as well so I can't stress this enough guys if you guys have 10.2 and have an iPhone 7 or 7 plus please stay there because Luca Tedesco will update his tool in the future also guys like I said in my previous videos if you guys are on 10.2.1 and you guys do not have your SHSH blob saved there is a most possible chance that you will not be able to downgrade back to 10.2 and jailbreak but if you do have your SHSH blob saved then hopefully I can make a tutorial on how to downgrade back from 10.2.1 or a higher version back to 10.2 and just jailbreak from there as well also guys I want to let you guys know that a user did find a way to enter non substrate mode which basically allows you to enter jailbreak mode without having tweaks installed so this is a very 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 big little tip that I found that I really want to share with you guys just in case you guys do end up messing up your iDevice by installing a tweak that was incompatible and it's throwing you in a boot loop you guys know you guys have to launch up the Yalu app in order to jailbreak your device. Now with that being said, if you guys have had a tweak that is broken with iOS 10.2 and needs to update and you guys are in some type of loop, make sure you guys open up that app and then once you press go, hold on to the volume up and don't worry about the power button on the instructions as on the screen that right here it says. But just hold the volume up and while it's loading, please hold on to it until the lock screen appears. Now once you guys are here, you guys can go ahead and log in. You guys will be in your jailbroken state, but without having any tweaks installed. So from here, you guys can just go ahead and go back into Cydia and uninstall that tweak that was interfering and causing that boot loop or whatever kind of problem you guys have. So I just want to let you guys know just in case you guys have had any problems with any tweak regarding this, go ahead and try this method by just holding up the volume up button while pressing go inside of the Yalu application. Also guys, I just want to let you guys know I will be updating on a video on a lot of the iOS 10.2 compatible tweaks that will be available for your iDevice and I will make that in a very soon video but I just want to cover as much news as I can regarding the next jailbreak because I have been getting a lot of questions regarding how you guys can jailbreak and what kind of problems you guys had. So I've seen all your guys' comments and I just want to throw them all into one video. So this is a very quick video. So if you guys like this video as an update, go ahead and leave a like down below. Also subscribe to get videos just like this in the future as well as tweak reviews and theme reviews once they are released by devs and a lot of tutorials with the next jailbreak since it's going to be released very soon as well. Also don't forget to follow me on my Twitter page and my Facebook page to be informed on anything jailbreak related and to stay up to date with what's been going on in the jailbreak world and to just get a little sense of what's been going on in my daily life. So guys with that being said I'll see you guys in my next video. This is Elite Apple Hacks signing out.